Welcome to our tutorial on setting up and using the dashboard server of a UR robot. Today, we'll walk you through one of the simplest remote connections you can make with a UR robot, connecting to the dashboard server. This interface lets you control the robot remotely by sending simple commands to the GUI over a TCP IP socket. The server runs on port 29999 on the robot's IP address. So why use the dashboard server? It's perfect for simple operations like loading a specific program or starting and stopping the robot. Imagine you have a PLC or PC controlling your application and want to take over the robot's control. This setup can automate the robot's initialization and start up in the morning without touching the teach pendant. Let's get started. We'll show you how to set up a simple connection to the robot, select the program, run an initialization that powers on the arm, release the brakes, and start the program. First, we must send commands to the robot as text strings terminated by an endline character backslash n using a TCP IP socket. The robot will respond with a status message to confirm it received the command. It is possible to use tools such as socket test or similar, but just for the fun of it, we will use a small Python script here. It's easier to modify into a complete initialization script. So here is what the script does. It establishes a socket connection. Then it sends commands to the robot on the dashboard server port. The robot controller needs to be powered on and connected to the device that sends the script, of course. Otherwise, it cannot receive commands, but that is the preparations you need. Let's go through it step by step. First step, make sure the right program is loaded, as installation files can require the robot to reinitialize. To load a program, send the text load followed by the program name. So let us do that. Inside the send all command, we put the load simple program.urp. Second step, apply power to the arm by sending the command power on. The robot will then respond with powering on. Note that this response is returned as soon as the robot receives the command, not after it has finished powering on the arm. We want to make sure that the arm has finished powering on and this can be done by either introducing a short wait, or we can make a more robust solution by checking the status until the robot is ready. We can do that by making a small loop, asking for the status by sending the command robot mode until the response changes. For this section, the response should be robot mode, idle, and not any of the other statuses we can have. So let's just make that. While the response does not include idle, Call the send all function with robot mode as an argument to update the response. And that's it. Now it will run in the while loop until the response changes to idle. Third step, instruct the robot to make the brake release so that it is ready to start the program. Again, this step takes time to execute. So we will need to wait a while or check the robot status to see when the brakes have been released. This time we make the while loop until the response includes running. This leads us to the final step. Use the send all command with the argument play to start the program. That is it. This small snippet of code will do the initialization, which is loading the program, powering on the arm, releasing the brakes, and starting the execution of the robot program. Of course, this can be made even more intelligent, and it is possible to get a lot more information through the dashboard server connection. You can find more information in the articles on our website concerning the dashboard server.